Today, we'll be reviewing the Gravity Fitness Static Bar. Let's go! So Gravity Fitness is a UK based company and we already reviewed a lot of their products. So the first product that comes to mind is the Dip Bar by Gravity Fitness because it's similar in design and it's also adjustable in height just like the Static Bar. So we are very curious about this one and first let's show you how we assembled it. So you have these two to assemble it and you have three different kinds of screws. The first one we need is the long one to put this together. So next up we will put in these and those go into the side and we have two of them so they come on each side and we attach them with the medium screws. And then we put on the feet. So now we will attach the static bar and this thingy comes on the other side and then you're gonna use the small screws to attach them to the feet. And now we have to tighten everything up. This bar, if you put it on the highest level, obviously it is quite high. It's almost like a freestanding pull-up bar. Not really, but for muscle-ups, it's gonna be very nice, I think. It feels very nice. I like the look of it. As you can see, you can change the level, so it can be up to here. So we will let you know the exact measurements later. They have the anti-slip feet. It was interesting to us to see that the bottom has two different things sticking out, but we will be testing out the stability of this bar. It has a logo over here, which in our case is kind of crooked, but the logo looks nice, but it would have been nice if they put it on straight. So the static bar is 100 centimeters, is about 117 centimeters. And this is 111 centimeters, so the full bar. So now the bar is at 133 centimeters high. On the website, it says that it can only go up to 120 centimeters. So this is a bit confusing. So now let's put it lower so we can find out what the lowest part is. So it's now about 92 centimeters high and it can be adjusted in increments of five centimeters. So when you want to adjust it, First of all, you just turn it a couple of times and then you're actually gonna pull this and then you can go up. So it's basically with a spring and then you can just put it where you want it to be. It clicks in as you can clearly hear and then you have to put this on the same height. Don't forget to really tighten this one up because otherwise it will be less stable. So this bar weighs 15 kilograms and actually we don't know how much it can handle, but it feels very sturdy. And the diameter of the bar is 32 millimeters. Anyway, now that we know the measurements, let's test it out. So as you can see, when you're doing Australian pull-ups or rows, then it tends to tilt a bit. This is mostly the case with static bars. So what you can do then, you bend your knees. Actually, I could put it lower now, but like this, it's gonna be more stable. Interesting grip. It kind of feels nice, actually. But I, I, I was expecting it to feel smoother, but. Honestly, it's surprisingly stable this way because other static bars I've tried are a bit more scary. <laughs> I like the grip size. I like the grip feel. The height like this for me, I'm 180 centimeters. It's nice for muscle ups because I can just do full ROM. So the grip is not actually smooth. It's also not actually rough, but somewhere in the middle. Nice. I always like it when using a static bar, actually having grip tape on the bar. This improves the grip. If you use chalk, then you can always optimize it to your liking. 
So when you push hard on the bottom, the rubber feet definitely slip if you try very hard, but the pressure pushing it sideways, you will never get that pressure when doing your exercises. So during the exercises, I didn't feel it slip at all, so that's nice. And when it comes to the forward and the sideward stability, also during the exercises, I didn't feel anything. Don't forget. All right. Rows are actually very nice like this, much more stable. When you're doing straight bar dips, of course, it would be nice to have it a bit higher, but if you put it lower, it's definitely more stable. Yeah, <laughs> what I thought. <laughs> doing this kind of cat, now it's not high enough. All right, feels stable. So when you put it low, I really enjoy doing rows on it. Of course, it is much more stable like this. And for front lever, that's for instance, also nice. And when you put it higher, then it's super nice to do muscle ups. Anything that you have to do on top of the bar, it just feels more safe when you do it when it's hanging lower. So if you put it up higher, it's gonna be less stable, but then of course you have more space when doing exercises on the bottom. But still actually doing exercise on the top is still surprisingly stable. So when it comes to the diameter of the bar, it is 32 millimeters and actually this is for a static bar is quite thin. This is usually the case that they're more thick because then it's more easy to do false grip for, for instance, doing your more advanced front lever exercises. But I still really like the diameter It's basically the same diameter as a CrossFit standard ring. When it comes to the width of the bar, actually for doing advanced exercise, like for instance, Maltese or a straight arm touch, those are exercises where you need a very wide bar and one meter is actually not that wide for a static bar. And for certain exercises, like for instance Maltese, on the side you can see here, you have this little thingy, which you definitely touch with your pinky and maybe even your ring finger when doing Maltese. And this is probably not even wide enough for that. So when it comes to the pricing, the static bar costs 100 euros and this is actually, in our opinion, very cheap for what you get. It is a very stable bar, actually the most stable static bar that we have come across. It is a very nice looking bar, plus it is also very good quality. It's very easy to adjust as well and when you put it up low, then it's a very nice height for doing rows and it's also much more stable. But when you hang it up higher, it's a very nice height for doing muscle ups and even there it is surprisingly stable. We also really like the grip and the thickness of it, but one thing, when you are an advanced athlete, then actually having a thicker bar is usually nicer because then you can easily do false grip for, for instance, advanced front lever work. And also another thing is that it is not that wide. So for, for instance, advanced exercise like Maltese or straight arm touch front lever, that is actually not wide enough. But for the rest, it does everything that a static bar needs to do. And for all of the basic exercise, it's actually super nice. So we would definitely recommend it. So if you are interested in getting this bar, you should click the link in the description. And we hope we helped you out with making this review. And if you want us to review any other products, let us know in the comments and we will see you in the next one. Have a good day.